day everybody how's it going all my youtube family i'm up to 73 subscribers now and uh just thought i'd give you guys an update i'm sitting here at a ta in beautiful oregon west coast and uh looks like uh we've been dropped our load this morning at our 90 got that taken care of we came back over to the ta and parked her and waiting on another load and uh found out from our FM don't look like that's not going to happen until tomorrow so it looks like we're going to have a whole day of nothing but anyway uh just thought I'd touch base with y'all we did a few we traveled a little bit we got over here in Oregon uh yesterday pretty early really we tried to drop the load yesterday but they wouldn't take it they don't buy a swimming only so we stayed about two miles down the road and this TA and spent the night Got up this morning bright and early and picked up or got our load and brought it over there. Got us in there, got us out, come back over here, and of course now we're waiting on loads. So apparently I guess loads are few and far between now due to the upcoming holiday this weekend, Easter, and of course with the coronavirus going on and all that good stuff, it's going to be a slow haul. So anyway, uh, update you on that. So we're just waiting on somebody to give us a load. Don't look like it may not happen until tomorrow now. Uh, another update I'll give you guys. Uh, my upgrade process has been placed on hold again, which has been on hold. So I uh, got a message from our fleet manager this morning asking if it's okay if I, uh, I don't have a problem uh, staying on my trainer truck, the mall truck. And of course, no, mixed feelings for me, but I really love to get on my own truck. It'd be nice, but I tried to ask a few questions on Facebook, and I guess I just opened up a can of worms, so I'll know better next time. I'm tired of hearing a bunch of kids wanting to down in the back of the and they want to blow it and be little and people and show negativity, and I don't care much for that. I'm too dang old for that crap, you know. I'm probably old enough to be their father, some of them, but anyway. Uh, that's a, that was the wrong approach, so I'm never going to do any more posting on that type of that site, that Facebook page, because there's no sense in it, there's too many negative people out there. But uh, I do appreciate all my subscribers here, you know, I uh, kind of watched the video a while ago, I can't remember her name, but a uh, little Puerto Rican lady, I love her videos, and it showed that she was in Salt Lake, and old, no heavy trucking was there, and so was Highway Junkie. And you guys are awesome. That's the first time I really got to see what Highway Junkie look like, man. And you write to me all the time, and I appreciate your comments, man. I really do. Of course, I keep in touch with Lyle either via on the comments or even call me. So that he calls me, and I call him. So that was awesome, you know. But uh, anyway, you guys, uh, looks like I'm on hold for a little bit longer, I guess, for a little while anyway. Oh, there he is. I'm finally getting him on there. He says I don't put him on my videos no more, but I am now. I was going to wait and ask him to come up here. So. He's crazy to us more chocolate cake. <laughs> He's crazy. That's my trainer right there, Jamal. You guys have met him before, but I've been, we're going to sit down and do a question and answer about, is he any good or ain't I any good? He'll tell you already I ain't worth the poop, so. <laughs> but no. Yeah, awesome trainer, guys. I'm glad he's keeping me on here. He could have thrown me to the curb if he wanted to. The art too, I think. Still thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he, he gives me, keeps me on my toes. Him and my wife both, they gain up on me, tell me I got to get, get rid of my bad attitude about this whole thing and just deal with it and love it. So I'm going to do that. I mean, you know, yes, I'm frustrated. It, and everybody knows, even in my, if you were in my shoes, you'd be the same way. Highway, you know. No hippie truck and said the same thing. You're probably frustrated, and I am. I, I, I felt I met my obligation. I'm ready to rock and roll, but with the situation at hand, I got to play the cards, you know. I got an awesome trainer. I got an awesome fleet manager, so I'm not worried. I'm going to be taken care of, so look at him. He keeps speaking around, see? And he's taking me I'm out. Wait, I'm waiting on him to talk trash about him. <laughs> <laughs> I won't talk trash about him. He keeps me on my toes. He corrects me. I have a problem not shifting gears and not stopping before I shift into drive and reverse. I get excited and I keep wanting to move, but I'll learn it eventually. But anyway, you guys, uh, 
I thank you all for subscribing. I've got 76 now, and that's awesome, man. I hopefully continue to grow when I get started on my own. We'll get a little bit of live feed going on, maybe a couple live videos, and hopefully have a question and answer. Uh, thank you, Hippie. Uh, wouldn't you know? Thanks for your comments. Thanks for answering the phone. I'm sorry if I woke you that night, but I'm glad you talked to me and everything. Uh, but uh, it's a process now, guys. I mean, I've got to follow the book, and I'll go by whatever they give me. You know, I'm guaranteed a paycheck every week, so that's the main thing. A lot of people don't even get that anymore with all this stuff going on. Heard the stories. Uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Some got on there. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, uh, you know, it's, it's it's frustrating. But you know, with my wife understanding and everything, and then of course my trainer telling me, "Hey, you know, I know how you feel. I feel you." And, you know, it's confidence I got to build up. And you know, my trainer's already, my my fleet manager already told me they've got my name in the hat for an upgrade. And, you know, it's just time. We just have to wait. You know, yes, I'm looking at lease. I say this all the time. I keep looking at success leasing inventory, and I see a bunch of trucks there, and I also see, you know, people's name on the right side, the bar, you know, their driver codes. And it is what it is. Who cares? You know, they were telling me, hey, if you look at it this way, you might go back and get a brand new truck. You never know. So that's a possibility. So. Anyway, we're going to make the best of it. I guess we're going to be stuck here again tonight. Hopefully we'll get a load out tomorrow, headed back east again, and get back to where we need to be. And uh, anyway, I just thought I'd touch bases with you all. Hey, I want you all to be safe out there, please. You know, this this coronavirus ain't no joke, I guess. I mean, if people are going left and right. And we also got messages today that they want most of our receivers and shippers want us to start wearing masks and gloves. And I, I don't, uh, the only thing I can say, uh, I'm going to end up making them because... There ain't no place out here that's got masks, I'm telling you. I mean, I went in there and bought a beanie hat at the TA last night and cut a hole in the top of it just so I could cover my mug. But, you know, you improvise, you do the best you can. Hippie knows all about it. You cut, you know, what is it the, the Marine motto is? Something improvised, conquer, or improvise, or something or another. Simplify, no hippie, but anyway, we're going to carry on and do what we got to do. Uh, I did a couple of videos before this one, but I raced them because I was just ranting and I was being an idiot, but, and you guys don't need to hear all that, so, but this is going to be a good one, and I wish you all the best, I mean, be safe out there, be careful, and remember, we keep driving and striving for perfection each and every day, and, uh, all my prayers and thoughts go to all the people out there that are suffering from this virus and everything. I'll talk to you all soon, alright? Be careful now. Bye.